All right, in this example, what we're now going to be doing for your homework is doing kind of like the exact opposite of what we did in the first 12 problems. So now what we're looking into doing is, rather than expanding it to multiple logarithms, now what we're looking into doing here is condensing this down to one single logarithm. So we're going to use the same rules that we have already done. Um, you can see that I have um, some, some numbers being multiplied by my logarithm, which I remember from the power rule, if we had an exponent right, or a power, we put that number in front. right? So I just want to kind of undo that now. So anytime I have a number in front, I'm now I want to rewrite that as a power. So therefore, I can rewrite this as log of x cubed plus log of y to the 1 third. Right? Now remember, when we had a logarithm and they were separated by multiplication, we could separate that into two logarithms with the addition of two logarithms, right? So now, if I see I have the addition of two logarithms, I can rewrite that as the product of our two values. So I can rewrite this as log of x cubed times y to the 1 third. Obviously, though, ladies and gentlemen, we don't like really using rational powers. So therefore, my final answer would be log of x cubed times the cube root of y. And we could get.